Hello friends, uh, this is size 12 uh, state shank hook and thread I'm using is block and I'll explain all the material as I go along so if you just start below the eye use your touch and turn just unwind your thread keep going now if you stop here just before the bend and for the tug this is I'm using a gold tinsel this is a cocky bundy pattern it's a Welsh pattern and works really well in summer all spider patterns works really well so if you use just uh, cut it from the thin end and keep going I remember um, some sometimes people put very small tug but here I'm going to put a nice amount of large tug because I have fished with this and it works really well because and make sure you got a very nice gold color tinsel because which can be uh, can reflect uh, in the sun under the water so this is a nice amount of tuck here gold color and then just go once up towards the eye and come back and for the body I'm using peacock hurl now this is actually you can use natural but I am using a dyed olive color you know so if you take two and cut these and and I'm going to cut them here body length and basically just go towards the bend and leave the tug the size you want make sure you leave enough so we can see the gold right now here spin this vice around I'm going to add a little wax on the thread because what I'm going to do spin this thread uh, sorry the hurl around the thread a few times because this will secure it properly it, it, it's kind of you don't have to use uh, super glue because it's much better doing that way it's uh, extra strong so once you've done that grab it with the hand and just give it a little spin not too much and here now I'm gonna take my time and just kind of stroke backward and keep coming up towards towards the eye. It's just, the reason is if you're wrapping around is much better doing it like this because it saves you touching the super glue is a nightmare sometime when you're tying flies with it. Okay, now stop uh, kind of a few millimeters before the eye and unwind a little bit couple of turn so you get uh, once you reach to the shank and then secure it here few turn and here I'm going to cut this off very close don't worry about this head mess now all I'm going to do is stroke this backward and secure it again that should be okay now then I'm using a furnace hen hackle this is like a brown and black you can see it's black in the middle and a brown on the edge so what I'll do I'll just take some off and just get this catching point the tip and just catch it gently here few turn fold everything back and secure it properly okay now this tug end just take that off these are some extra fiber don't worry about them but I'm just want to tie a 
nice and neat fly so if I can crouch this with the alcohol flyer sorry this is a little bit wet because uh, the alcohol is I just uh, couldn't find the furnace alcohol so I just give it a little rinse and this is why it's wet so I can stroke it backwards once they are a little bit wet they are really nice and it settles very nice you know the position you want so I'm just making it a little bit huckly the reason is because as in summer in a choppy water we need a bit of a bushy fly you know so as you can see I'm just gonna go through every further and then fold everything back again and perform a nice head and whip finish okay cut this off very close and try to break this so just gonna get this brush and check the huckle because these are soft huckle they're much better now you can put less huckle if you want if you're fishing in the calm water but to me using this more huckle in windy condition much much better okay and the final thing is a varnish on the head so nail varnish make sure you dry your brush properly and then just put around nice and neat head and just kind of I'm just going to clean the eye use any stem or needle or anything and it's much better doing that way and there's a bit little bits and bars here Just want to add a little bit more. I just want to see a nice head, you know. Just take your time, like I said, you know. And the clean again. If you use the stem, it will clean the eyes nicely. Anyway, there you have a cocky bundy, great Welsh pattern, and uh, works really well in summer. If you're fishing in the choppy water, if you want to add more, make sure you add more huckle in this, and uh, uh, it looks bushy. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.